Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3. Welcome back in 1879 with our Mexican Republic and welcome back with our aging but super successful reformer president Benito Juarez. Um, before we get into details, I'm very sorry something happened in the last two episodes. For a reason I don't know, um, OBS, my the program I guess most people use it after an update. Was it after an update? I'm not even sure. I couldn't find many bug complaints in, on, online so far. Stopped to record the last two minutes, so you missed a little bit what we were doing um, in the end. Um, yeah. I was basically praising our situation, but we are here at the situation in May, so sorry for missing a little bit, but yeah, the essentials are not different because of course we didn't go into our further in our situation, our crisis, and this is what I want to talk about of course first, since after all the reforms that Juarez already declared and pushed through so which is for example um yeah we had to abolish the secret police but we do have protected speech hours we have multiculturalism we have public schools um did i forget something i feel like these were the most important ones uh, yeah, for the moment these are by far the most important ones so we had a lot of inner political trouble going on but he is just like him and his intelligentsia managed to keep this under control and actually get through these hard times still i mean the church and the landowners are pre un pretty unhappy these days but it is what it is we've got to wait but maybe now actually the northern neighbors our rivals these maybe jealous slave traders or slave holders <laughs> because through jealous of our migration we never know we have uh North Italians coming to California, Danish coming here to Sono uh, Sinaloa, and Aborigines coming to uh, Mexico itself. So, how many came already? 130,000 Aborigines. <laughs> is this traditional or is this Mexican clothing now? Would be interested how they how this works. Um, anyway, so yeah, they might have gotten a, a little bit jealous, and they are coming back this for. California, Nevada, a treaty port here in Rio Grande, and they want to humiliate us and revoke our claims in Texas. Well, this is impressive. Uh, this is, I mean, makes sense considering how many troops we have. We are quite weak. However, we have strong allies, and this time it looks like they were joining us. So both our defensive partners, Spain and Great Britain, we turned, moved on in, and we formulated our claims to revoke the claim in California, plus to return Texas. Yeah, and um, I don't know if I did this all in the time that wasn't cut off. Now we are thinking, of course, the war has to be prepared. Um, really, we, in the end, we're relying on these. We could, will not be able to really fight it alone, at least not at the moment. And I don't want to militarize our uh, state too much, you know. But we will, uh, I think we'll build some extra um, camps quickly to stack up our to stash up our army at least a bit. The problem is I kind of fired out my maneuver points a little bit quickly, so I'm just left with 16 that can either give us war reparations for 10, we can go for return state Utah for 8, or we can go to for conquer state, for example, for Arizona for 11. Um, yeah, I mean, if we really would get Texas back, this, what is how, this is the border, so... Texas and Arizona looks a little bit weird with this New Mexico cut out, also by the name. The borders, um, Utah is probably more, no, Arizona is more interesting than Utah itself due to the gold. Also, but also taking Utah on top would look super weird. So actually what I'm going, I think I'm going to go for the war reparations because I really feel like these are going to be way in case we have a full victory. Of course, everything relies, maybe we're just gonna get overrun because our allies suck. You never know. I'm probably going for the war reparations in the end, or I'm adding this to primary, but they're still confident, which I find still very surprising. Anyhow, um, of course, we want to be um, stay a little bit more competitive, and I think it's time to upgrade our troops. Um, let's get one southern army as a reserve, and maybe I think I'm gonna... Yeah, here we have a lot of peasants left, so let's get 20,000 infantry on top. Um, maybe some artillery as well, but we don't have that much to be honest. Maybe here, well, let's see where we have some peasants available here in Jalisco. Four. And we want it, let's, let's just make it eight to be honest. So this is for the southern army, and then we have our, um, oops, our northern army that can also need a couple of reinforcements. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, let's just build 10 barracks in California. 
Sinaloa just got the imp um did 10 right and let's do five in Nevada five in Baja California five in Sinaloa five more in Chihuahua uh, this is 20 in total 10 20 30 in total and then one maybe 40 yeah we're building up our army want to show we can deal with that however it's going to be costly of course but it is something we've got to do and also artillery needs to be at least eight if not 18. let's build them here and uh, let's build another five and maybe some cavalry just to also make this an even number so yeah uh, this is a huge militarization program let's have a quick look at the mobilization options i think this is fine shall we go for luxury luxury supply more meat more wine but everything plus 25 percent uh, Ooh, everything already i think i'm gonna keep it like this for the moment like i said with this army it's not going to guarantee us any success in a war it's still we're still gonna have less battalions than the us however this will help us at least have a, a little bit of a more respectful force maybe prevent attacks in the in the future increase our status in the world hmm. we also need to build up our fleet of course but yeah we were busy with uh, something else so and this tooling workshop goes last so let's see how quickly yeah also this one i'm gonna not i'm gonna just finish these two and then these barracks gonna get really built quickly this will take us to a minus and then we shall see okay this is a like, very long start but yeah of course we are in an essential uh, quite critical position right now um let's see let's let's maybe remove the uh, speed to three and we shall see how this goes yeah monitors are spreading that's good are we not we're even researching them right perfect the armed forces, oh yeah, it would be of course fantastic to how, somehow get some military wages plus 100%, Whew. this is kind of tough, I mean it would be nice to get it somehow else, is there a way for us? Oh, by the way, we were talking also about guaranteed liberties, which we are not going to pass right now, because we don't can't afford any more trouble, however the... Also, the armed forces especially would not like it. Mm hmm. Public health insurance is something they would enjoy. I mean, the church, once again, is already radicalized. Roll fork. Let's, let's see. This going actually uh, continuing while at war, continuing our insane uh, reform program and getting out charity hospital, uh, switching to public health might be an option since the Catholic Church. I feel like we're not, they're not, not ever gonna like uh, who are this, anyways. The industrialist going down is for sure not that amazing, but I will re recover though. This is actually a really viable option, pushing us the armed forces to 17. Um, I'm going to wait for a second. Um, Depending a little bit also how this um, this war and this diplomatic play evolves, and yeah, we don't need to do it right now. Maybe t calming down, also giving some time in between the uh, political processes. But to be honest, after giving you the introduction, I feel like I can already add the war reparations since that's what I kind of want, and I feel like we're gonna need it after. This will be a costly war if we really fight it for real. And I mean, Texas is the prime goal, and then maybe if they come back another time, we'll go for Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico to so basically Colorado. They they might keep it. This would be for me a good diagonal diagonal uh, line over here, more or less. But I think in the short term, we're gonna be way happier with um, war reparations. We even have the authority, to be honest, to might to maybe get some extra um, taxes out. In case we're getting running really low on income, there's still always an option. Okay, now they're mobilizing over here. So I think I will fully mobilize already and then slowly the others will come in and I send them both to the front right now. Um, I hope that also our partners are sending some troops quickly. Ah, there they go, there we go, there we go. We've got the third Spanish army, the army of Ireland. Portsmouth, now these are ships. I, I mean, are they really going to fight this war? Are they really still confident? 
Let's have a quick uh, quick overview. They have 170 battalions. We've got like, okay, we're gonna go maybe with 80 if we're, we're fully built up. They have so many more. If the Brits are really fighting this war for us, the flotillas, they, so, they have so much more fleets also. If they're going to fight this, then you guys are going to just be adamant defense. Yes. Last stand. Who? I'm gonna go on very defensive these days at first. Like you guys can be land reformer. Yeah, let's promote you. This is my goal with these troops at the moment. Just delaying the enemy and see that probably reinforcements come from Europe. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, why? How can they be called? Because they haven't mobilized yet, or did they? Uh, not really. Where is our reinforcements coming? The Spanish are coming. I mean, now we had plenty of Spanish. We have over 1.5 million Spanish uh, living here in Mexico these days. So it might make sense. And now, since we're getting in, and it's, I feel like battles will soon start, I'm gonna go for to continue from charity hospitals towards. Um, mortality goes down here, it goes even further down. What's the disadvantage? It cost us a lot of... Probably cost us a lot more um, bureaucracy, but we're really good in this one, so... Let's try it. The rural fork is not a big fan of that. Technology spread going down, that's bearable for the moment. They hated us anyways, the industrialists, yeah, will spend less money, yeah, we're going down in terms of money. But that's, that's the thing, we have to stand this for the moment. There they come, uh, our lovely Spanish and the R Irish reinforcements. Um, yeah. But there's also more Ameri Americans incoming. Oh, oh, I really, I really sincerely hope there's more reinforcements that are about to arrive from the Brits. They're not daring, and the Spaniards are also not mobilizing their first army. I mean, to be honest. To be honest, I find this actually kind of cool that the AI is not fully mobilizing and tossing everything in. Like for example, Crusader Kings, you could be um, you could be allied to somebody from the other part of the world, and they would send still like half of the, the entire army through the entirety of Europe. In the meantime, we have, by the way, here the French-German war again, and I complained already about. So but here we go. Here's our reinforcements. Do we actually have the Gatling guns already? We should, right? Yeah, the hand ranked machine guns. Kill rate go up, that's good. Yeah, but this one will be really helpful. So probably... Yeah. I'm gonna probably go for this next. Let's see how the first battles commence. Um, why is the our troops displayed on this side and the Americans here? There must be a 4th American army. They have skirmish infantry and dragoons. We do have also skirmish... We have lancers and artillery. I never really checked the difference between um, ra Dragoons and uh, Lancers. Who's that? Uh, Lula Robinson. Okay, a Dixie General. Oh, is he pushing us back just with pure force? Oh, but here we're defending successfully. Oh, yeah, damn it. See Nevada being invaded already. And I was speculating about, uh, you know... <laughs> What is our fleet, by the way? Where's our fleet, actually? <laughs> I think in the Pacific, right? Uh, these guys here, they can't do a lot. While... Well, I mean, where's the British fleet over here? So While they're there, I would actually send them here just to harass them. Yeah, but if we don't get any further reinforcements, what are we coming here? The, the 14th British Army coming from... And these looks like a little bit... Oh, some Indians coming over the Pacific, okay. Oh, and we seem to have pushed them back here in Arizona. Interesting. Here, the Spaniards are not really being very helpful. But here, yeah, this is, looks like a nice uh, defensive war. However, here, Ignacio Zaragoza. Ah, he's. We talked a lot about him before. He's the our radical from the petit bourgeois. In the meantime, by the way, you see that our barracks are being built. So. Yeah, it will take some time, but if the war lasts long, lasts longer, our armies will stack up. Um, let's see how long the enemy has like patience to fight this. 
and especially when the when the, I hope that there's a British naval blockade kicking in very soon because these guys are here. The here also the Real Armada Española is like, is is like here <laughs> is here. So naval wise we are, should be fine. And yeah, definitely we're gonna oh. Protected speech, prestige for not election, how, how are they doing? That's, I think the 10% are, should be fine. I'm happy to take also the extra prestige, yes. And the acceptance of our population. Oh, here they are killing it, the Americans. Well, it's gonna be a tough one. And I mean, if, as long as the British army doesn't show up or the... Nah, now they're here in California, god damn it. Uh. waiting also here i mean took some oh god i feel like the spaniards are not necessarily a good support the 14th british army is here these indians okay well let's say i mean I, we will not lose a lot or we will lose a lot actually the minting but and so forth but it, it would be still okay losing just california and nevada and basically yeah we're losing also the claim on Texas and having the current state borders, or the, as we know them of these days. This is fine to me, to be honest. Um, I'm really not happy to get humiliated, or especially not that I don't want them to have a uh, down here a treaty port in Rio Grande. That would be really annoying. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I mean, they're dead. Uh, they have higher costs and they have more dead so far. Let's at least if they want that, we, we've got to make them bleed. We get here a trade agreement by the Brits. I think we're definitely gonna take that right. Didn't we have one already? Uh, let's have a quick look how many trades that we have ongoing. Do we have more with the French actually? Um, but we also do have a trade agreement with them. Okay, then uh, absolutely. I'm happy to the trade ag agreement with the British. Yeah, I don't know how in the, fu in the future we have to see how this goes. Bureaucratic imbroglio. Yeah, we know this event already about our, I mean, public health insurance. Of course, this would be amazing, but... Um, and I think I'm gonna go for this. We absolutely somehow we have so much um, bureaucracy we can afford this easily at the moment. I mean, we started it to pacify our armed forces, um, but of course, yeah, it would be... Uh, army of Ireland here getting heavily defeated by the way uh before we check here do we have sufficient um weapons and so forth that is looking actually good wow the coal is so expensive and yeah, we have to extend that too let's but let's import some coal as well uh, i'm really surprised the weapons are okay price wise Yeah, but probably we're going to go up. Oh, here they had this breakthrough. That's really annoying. But here, we are defending successfully. The Spaniards are more of a pain. Maybe we should have just gotten the Brits. Uh, here they are more successful. Uh, what about a massive British landing here on the East Coast? That would be lovely, no? That would end the war very, very quickly. Some convoys sunk where? In the macro Macaronian Sea. Okay, here the Brits are defeating the Navy of the Americans. And here I think we push them back a little bit, back to the... Uh, this is a weird... Uh, now it's back at the Rio Grande, basically, the front line. I think the Rio Grande, as you... If you want to watch my, of course, my Conquest of Mexico strategy command, strategic command videos, you will see that here, basically, Texas... Um, here's the Rio Grande dividing Texas and the Rio Grande province. And here, also in California and Arizona, they have been pushed back. So, uh, but also the Spaniards are failing to attack anything. I mean, we have our troops at the moment just on defense, but it's okay. I think we're gonna. Yeah, there's still a couple of barracks to build. Whoa. And there we go. Large numbers of North German people have begun migrating from French Empire to Veracruz and the surrounding states. Excellent. And Swahili from British East Africa. Insane. I didn't expect this to escalate that quickly, that we're getting so much migration waves that intensely, but okay. Aggressive campaigning. 
Antonio Martinez del Rio, following an address where he commended, uh, condemned the has begun. What did, who did he condemn? Has begun to mobilize dedicated partisans to oppose it in the election. An unprincipled Morris, best served not in parliament but in prison. Devoid of positive achievement, a collective self parody. An embarrassment to the Mexican nation, down with the. exclamation mark, okay. <laughs> Uh, is there a different party? <laughs> it's like, this seems like a bug. I guess I'm gonna go for the first bit there. I would, maybe they're talking about the anarchist society, I'm not sure. Antonio Martinez del Rio, Petit Bourgeois. Ah, this guy, wealth voting. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna I wanna keep the Liberal Party, so I'm gonna go, go with that, of course. And there we go, the home army. Woohoo! The household divisions, the Brits have mobilized more. Nah, I feel like maybe they just wanted to see how it goes at first. The question is how where are they going to? At New York, Nevada front, at New York. Is this if this is the case, then I would say this is a quite nice signal, since... Yeah, I feel like it's, it turned into a stalemate here in the... in these vast regions. Seeing the British artillery pounding here, the American lines. I feel like the Americans seem to have, in general, a lack of any kind of artillery, right? I didn't see artillery units so far. While the Brits seem to have it. Um, yeah, I mean this like sometimes it's worth looking into the game. Some people might complain that the sometimes the performance of course of Victoria suffers a lot, but um, from all these let's say unnecessary for the gameplay little little details, but for a person that just upgraded his computer not that long ago, I must say I do enjoy and appreciate the details that are animated a lot and I always have good, big fun checking that out. Look at our brave soldiers over here. You know, artillery looks quite modern, but I, to be honest, I'm also not an expert in 1880 what kind of artillery was available. And here, oh wow, here we're pushing even forward into, into, uh, what is Arizona? Campaign financing. Yeah, parties, particularly conservative party, are struggling to raise enough funds for all their campaigning needs this election. Let's see what your men are charging. Fees? Yes, that's to be the expected, but what's this lodging charge? That fancy hotel room could house a half a village, and there's enough wine built here to drown a fish. What's done some cheap, sir? You don't want to win, right? Uh, yeah, we don't want to push, definitely don't want to push the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the conservative party. This, however, might be interesting to get more interesting. F but, yeah, to be honest, nope. If a party can't afford a campaign, should it be campaigning? Yeah, and do I, I mean the interest group attraction something else than the parties? But I don't know how detailedly they correlate. If you know, let me know down in the comments if there's a concrete correlation. I would like to, of course, see them uh, drop into it. Um, out of what would you call? How do you call this? Not relevant irre irrelevancy. Donald Beveridge versus Thaddeus Otis. Okay. Here the Brits pushing forward. And here we go. And of course, how could else could it be our beloved Benito Juarez is being confirmed, of course, staying in power as president of Mexico. And I think we can also keep the coalition. The Liberal Party is able to rule basically alone. Um, not so much has changed in terms of the powers. I think that's fine. Here we have a uh, radicalism and high support from the oh the rural folk is slowly going down. This is really sad. We can't do anything about him, right? That's this might again now that if they come over ten, we might face another revolution again. But let's see. Yeah. In the meantime, how is our army construction going on? Yeah, halfway done, I would say. How much is how big are they growing? Are they growing? I think he definitely also needs a uh, promotion since the army is going to grow. Monitors, lovely. 
Um, definitely gonna use this immediately since we already did last time, right? And I wanted to. Which will make us a little bit less... Um, holy moly, they can stop some of the trade routes over here, maybe. Primarily with um, the ones we don't have trade agreements with. Let's see. Um, has it changed? Do we need a lot of... We've been importing also military ships, right? But now we need steam ships over time. Yeah, here we go. Let's definitely import them. The British will help us out here. And I guess the Spanish also in this war situation. That's fine. And we have something new to research, I guess, in this at this time... We need to go into military research. Um, let's do wargaming right now because it provides a little bit of army offensive and a new training method. I mean, if it really comes into play, it's different and you always get any change too much debuffs. But um, it's just also a little bit of, let's say, flavor that we're going to research on that. And here, yeah. Oh, you see our flag on the Mac US territory. So, I mean, it's not our troops, but the Spaniards or the Brits here at this front are pushing into Utah, which is good to see. And we do see that the US have still higher number of casualties and uh, higher costs of war. So, and we have almost double the men these days since the Brits have mobilized and it kind of looks like as we're going to steamroll over them. Is, is, they they are <laughs> we fully we fully uh rely on the brits to be honest despite i, I mean our army is growing and they, they so far our army it was also important that they were there in the beginning so we didn't get overrun maybe the enemy was just waiting for um and we are nicely sinking convoys here the enemy was waiting or the ai i mean i this is my interpretation. Of course, it would love amazing if the AI would act like this. See if we really invest ourselves. And then, since we could hold the line for a bit, they send more reinforcements to actually turn the tide. Cool stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure that this is... Um, you're going to see the, the end of this war. Not right now. Um... And that's not not even yet uh i mean this would be still our main war goal the claim on california would give us really some i mean not guarantees or thing but a, a little bit of easy easiness i would say and i think i'm going to let basically the the brits grind down the americans over here until and then at some point we're gonna go into offensive but Explorer defensive strategist. He's not the best offensive dude. Do we have offensive characters? I don't think so, actually. I picked always more the defense, offensive ones, yeah. Alcoholic pillage, but he's a pillager. Kanauhi, they're all from British Raj, so some. Indians, right? Wow, even more migration. This is... I mean, they're not that long. It seems like the waves are short. How many Germans did come, for example, over here? 60,000 North Germans, okay. A quick... Uh, I mean, like, since we always just check the front lines this very episode, let's have a quick look, look at the development of our population. 650,000 Spaniards, that's really the biggest immigration group so far. 240,000 Danish, 260,000 Abor Ab <laughs> Aborigine, okay, 150 North German, 200,000 North Italian, yeah, they're slowly coming. Galicians was a little bit longer ago already, 150. So here you have the population, it is blasting up, that's something we can tell. Wow, and now I'm gonna send him here, Mr. Enrique de Cost, to start advancing also, since... Slowly, the Americans, I mean, if the more we can grind their moral also down. And then definitely Texas is going to be... Uh, New Mexico is not the objective. We're gonna... Defend California and attack into Texas. Something I could have done maybe before. 
And once again, I didn't plan this, you know, like there's of course these achievements and so you can say, okay, man, we're gonna make huge Mexico, but I don't like to play Victoria necessarily like in this expansive manner. If you want to conquer the world, I feel like you should play U4 or, or Hoi or whatever. I mean, this is more, I try to see more the um, economic and societal modeling and implications. So that's what I'm mostly interested in. However, um, the industrials are by the way back. It's just um, ongoing so yeah so i never really intended to go for a reconquest however they came and once again as i mentioned in the beginning they are all the bad guys these united states of america that pretend to be a republic this this they are a republic i think <laughs> yes they still are of course they are but uh yeah you know legacy slavery they are still have holding their slaves and pretending to be the good people terrible and, and they just came so i'm really happy and thankful to the brits and the spaniards to come help come to our aid and um i'm quite optimistic that i mean now we have higher costs of course but we can have this for a little bit that's okay that we're gonna survive that one and when did the war start um let's have a, look, a quick look at the first battles um it was in August 79, so we're in a year almost, but the tide is turning significantly. Did we start to attack already? Mostly the Brits, but we are joining the attack soon. So yeah, um, interesting time, still quite exciting, and I'm hopeful that we might see the end of this war already in the next episode. Let me know what you think, um, let me know your opinions uh, down in the comments. And of course, it would be fantastic if you happen it, if you leave me a like and a subscription to support my work and my projects since it costs you nothing and means a lot to me. Thank you very much for that. And most importantly, see you next time in the next episode. Bye, your strategy wolf.